Hey guys, it's Laurel and Pierre with Blue Walks on the Run, and we're going to show you this Jayco Pinnacle 36 SSWS. I think you're going to love the features, so stick around. Pinnacle, Jayco. Its unit's about 41 foot overall length. It's kind of a nice unit. I appreciate the quality. This is luxury at an affordable price. That's how I kind of feel with this. Um, see, just to give you an example, it's already preset Furion to be able to put those blinker uh, sensor that you have the camera movie that could go into your truck as you're blinking. So that's a nice little detail that they put on there. Uh, we've got one 35 pound tank here. One. No, there's two more on the other side. So this is kind of nice, phenomenal, nice unit. So here we go. Full basement, central vac, water distributor over there. And I'm going to say this again. This unit has one slide out on this side, but three on the other side. So we're going to go see that. This is your grill porter with your uh, propane port, which is in the back. So you actually slide that inside your, your hitch in the back and you just have to plug to your propane port so you can grill in the back of the camper. Water heater, outside speaker, nice feature. So I, for staircase that goes up now that everybody's putting on there, 8,000 pound axle um, suspension with uh, more ride uh, swivel in the middle. And, and I gotta say this, because you're looking at, this, this is a camper. We're looking at 2,925 pounds of tongue weight, of pin weight. So an F-150 is not gonna do it. You probably have to reconsider your 250. You might need a little bit more carrying weight capacity than this. This unit is actually a 14,300 GVWR. So the, the weight of this is 14,300 once you put stuff in there. So frameless glass as we can see the awning is full awning from the front to the door and then we got the slide out which has a slide topper which is a nice feature with the awning on this section of slide also which also bring you to an entertainment system so you can actually sit outside and watch your tv which is a nice feature 40 foot one inches sorry i said uh, 41 foot but it's 40 foot one inches gwr is total if that's on laden weight is 14,003. That's the weight of the unit. Loaded, you can go up to 17,250. Uh, if you have a wife, it will be up there. So forget your 250, it's not gonna do it. She's not giving up her shoes. There you go, she just said it. The, the wife talk. Frameless glass, this is beautiful. Look at this, this is a nice LED light. And that's the hits I was talking to you about. And the propane is right on the right hand side of this little luxury that they put on here uh, outside by the way it's it's decal so it's not full body paint so you saved on that part that's a nice thing about Jayco they don't do much of full body paint so electrical uh, rewinder for your cable which is nice nice frameless glass the vent as we know now there's a vent for the the fan on top of your oven this is a nice feature for inspector See, for us, that gives us access to actually test the, the electrical system that we have in here. And also for the plumber to come and fix your, your water leak. See, this is an ice maker. Not a nice maker, an ice maker, Frenchman and me. So here it is. See, this is phenomenal. So you kind of have a clue what's gonna go on there. Your bedroom, your bed's actually gonna slide out the first slide. So let's just imagine the room we're gonna have inside when Lowell walks us through. Furnace, we've already seen this garage bay, but Lowell likes this bottle and the water bay system. And she likes the dispenser of the water that actually gives you access to those five gallon pail that you can bring up and Clean just be hooked up to. Clean water is important. Yeah, well, we'll have to do a video on that Berkey one of these days, but two more 35 pound tank that is kind of cool don't you think i think it's neat leveling system you got six hydraulic jack underneath there self leveling lippert and here's the garage bay in the front leveling system prep for receiving a generator if you want to and already preset for solar solar panel is already uh pre-wired there i can tell just by those two breakers that they put on there so that's it so this is for the outside 
the construction, what it looks like. Now Laurel is going to bring us inside to see what we're looking forward to. A beautiful feature on this unit is this camera right here. So if anybody's coming to your door, when you're inside or away, you're going to know who it is. Yep, so it is come on in and let's see what this beautiful Jayco has to offer. I love this huge island here. It's got your residential refrigerator, which is beautiful. Freezer on one side, fridge on the other. You've got your ice maker and all your options to measure and fill your water and your four burner insignia stove oven, as well as convection microwave, which is fantastic. But if you come around on this side, I want to show underneath this beautiful sink because this drawer right here actually slides out. And that to me is a great feature to be able to pull things out because you always have to try and get everything that's in the back. And then uh, over here we have your table, which also extends. You can actually have seating for four here, but it tucks away nicely when it's just the two of you. And uh, I want to come to the end of this island here. They've put a butcher block. Oh, right finally. here, right? So isn't that nice? So you've got extra space to uh, cut and dice or even do, you know, a display of your food and have a little buffet. You've got beautiful recliners. Love the feeling of this. It's butter soft leather. Really nice. And on each side of this pull out couch, you have storage underneath here. So you just lift up a little storage in there. But I love this. Again, where's the TV? It's in the elevator lift. So during the day, you've got the light that comes in when you're not using the television and it stores away. You've got your stereo system here, your JBL, and your, um, your fireplace, which is great on a little chilly night, chilly day. It really takes that edge off the cold. You've got also more storage here. When you enter too, you've got a place to hang your jackets which is nice. And what's this? It's your computer for your whole entire coach. So that's what's going to run everything that you need right there. We're going to come up here into the bathroom. I love this sink, oh. but this shower is great. Look how beautiful this is. But what's nice is this is all open and then you just slide this. So the water is going to stay in. I think this is so pretty. It's very modern. Love the sink, all the storage underneath the sink. It is really a modern bathroom. Absolutely love this. Storage here. This is a place to put your washer and dryer. Kind of see, hard. It's a little bit dark in here as yeah, see, uh, that's that first slide I was talking about. So see this first slide slide out. Right. Then okay. Where, where, where you are. Then the you're going to see the second slide, slide that goes out, yeah. which see, that's kind of this cool. is the second that part is. of the slide. So your king bed slides out, giving a lot of space. But check out this a little place to take a little afternoon nap, read a book with this gorgeous window up here. Beautiful storage on each side and underneath as well. So you've got three drawers that pull out under here and all of your dressers over here, all your drawers and another fireplace right here. So this is absolutely beautiful. Let's check out what's in here. Another uh, closet. So this is, this is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to share with you our least favorite and favorite features on this unit. Here's the dilemma. We can't find a least favorite. I know there is. It, it, There's it has gotta to be. be but... I think once you move in, you kind of find those things. But honestly, this this has got some really nice features. I can think of more than one feature I love. So I'll yeah. start. I love that you have central vac. I love the pull-out drawer underneath the sink. I think that's fantastic. I love the shower. I love the whole entire bathroom setup. Yeah. It's very modern. It looks like it's easy to clean. Um, and in the bedroom, that little area to like yeah, read a book and nice. just, or just sit down and put your shoes on or your socks on, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a great feature. It's very warm, cozy feeling, yeah. very homey. Yeah. How about you? I, I'm, I'm still trying to find what doesn't work. It, it's, I'm surprised it's, 
Wow. Okay. Maybe they're missing a toilet paper. Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, the holder. Yeah, for, no. for a Jayco, we've seen a lot of units, Pentacles. We went through a lot. This one kind of stuns is... me a little bit. And and I was going to say, I wasn't sure because I didn't remember I told you it was uh, solar prep. Well, it's not only solar prep. It comes with two 190 watt panels. So you got 380 watts in there. We ordered that on ours to have it. This comes with it. So all those little details that they've done, I like the windows. I like, I don't know, I like the floor plan. I like the double slide because see how much room it gives you in the bedroom? Yeah, that was nice. That's Whoa. a nice feature. And the window in the front is always phenomenal for me. I've seen that a couple of times and the window in the front is always, wow, it gives so much light. Yeah, but it's don't. beautiful from, from the outside too, looking at them yeah. with the window. It's pretty to look at, yeah. but nice from the inside. Yeah, we don't live in the bedroom, I understand, but it's nice to feel like you can go anywhere and you feel like you're in a house. It doesn't yeah. feel like a camper here, totally. It feels nice and light and it's homey. And for it's comfy. 40 foot overall length, overall bumper to the nose in the front. That is decent. I, that, that, not decent, it's. It's, it's wow. really nice. Yeah. No, I'm amazed. This was a nice find, nice found, nice find, nice found, whatever. Which Frenchie, one. it's a nice find. Nice find. So that works too. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. 